device now try to <laughs> okay so um i just want to show because i'm about to paint um commission so i would just want to show uh, how to trace how do i trace my design sorry for the big head i don't know how to call this camera because i'm about to put it on the um, uh, face in the scarf so I just want to show quickly how do I trace my design from the paper to um to the silk scarf. So today's silk scarf size is one hundred one meter and eighty one hundred eighty centimeter by thirty five centimeter. Okay, show you here. This is my frame I'm prepared. Here's the thing I want to um say. This is a frame I made by myself. So basically, we don't want um, we don't we want some space between the silk and the paper. Uh, if you want to use that design again, uh, so and also not just because of that, uh, we want this distance here, so the uh, when gutta, the gutta will not stick on your design, and then when you pull it up, um, what happens when gutta dry on the paper? It will take out the ink. Or the color from uh from that makes the scarf makes the outline look dirty, and you can't wash it away. So the best solution is to have it up. Uh, let's say here. Let me find a ruler. I have it up to five centimeter from the surface. Okay. So the first, so the rule number one is don't lay your silk straight on the paper. I know I've done one video with that. But that was that. That's when I learned how not to trace, put the silk right straight on top of the uh, scarf. The, not to put the scarf right on top of the paper. Okay, now. And um, uh, I have this. <laughs> go back again. I, I have this one light up with LED because it's uh, it will be help it easy to see what's underneath. You can see it's like that. And we can't do, don't try to do exactly the same, but just do 80%. The, the most important thing is to keep your line smooth and then continuous. We don't want to say stop, 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 like um, sometimes with, pen, with pencil. Because with pencil, we can use eraser, but with uh, good resistance, we can't. So, okay. And uh, this light, the LED light, it's uh, just a regular LED light. I bought it for five meters long, so it's long enough to run the whole frame. Uh, but for for this silk, it's uh it's um only it's punch five, so it's very see through. It's more useful when it's for thicker scarves. So you see, uh, if I turn. This light off, I can still see my design, but for secret scarf, the LED light will really help. Okay, um, I'll t I'll keep it on just for you to see see it easily. Okay, now I'm gonna put the camera on the uh, on the stand and then start to do the trace. And also, we want to keep the surface as um, as uh, tense as possible, so it, so it will keep the line run e more easy on it. Now, it doesn't matter where you start; it depends on your design. And the one thing is, when we are when when we are above, when the design is not. Uh, have a distance with that. So wh whenever we move our angle, we will move the the line. So what will happen is uh, maybe you, the finish line, finish line will not match the start line. So for that, we're trying to um, do the whole design with um, one angle. For example, for at least for one part, it will be easier for you to find the next part. Okay, let's let's start with the flower. That means if I'm standing on this way, 
on 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 this side of the 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 scarf, I will always keep it here. So that will keep my perspective the same. And once you start, uh, concentrate on the shape. Don't think about like that. Just do one part at a time. You don't think about the whole picture just for the start to start with. And make sure you do it from the same angle. If you make a small mistake here and there, don't don't worry about it because as long as the whole the, the whole picture, the finished outline look good, it will it will not show the small mistakes. If you wonder which part it is, just don't worry about it. Just draw what you see. And then the thing is, the part to concentrate is your hand. Keep it steady. And keep the line goes as even as possible. Don't be afraid if the line looks too thin, go back to it. It doesn't matter. The major thing for the Guta outline is to hold the color in. So like I missed a little here, I'm just gonna go trace it back. Once it's dry, it will look more even. Sometimes the hand get really sore, you can just hold it like that. Instead of use two fingers, you can hold it with your whole hand. And use your waist, waist, move your arm, use your arm instead of use your the finger power. Not strength, sorry. Um, for flowers or any complicated shape, we like to see curve, smoothly curved outline. And don't pressure too hard, otherwise you will scratch the, the, the surface, the silk. I 
I'm not gonna do the whole scarf. I'm just gonna do a little bit, and I will show you the flowers and the part. I think um, it might annoy beginners because it looks like a mistake, but actually, it doesn't matter. Because you, you will be the only one notice those mistakes. And bear in mind, as long as one is handmade, hand painted, nothing will be perfect. But that's what makes it unique, right? Okay, so now I've finished the, the, the flower. I'm going to show the uh, how I check the painting and and uh, and go close the lines which are not properly done okay here you see here okay here is the whole picture i just traced on this silk scarf and uh, you see the middle here one one pad one paddle missing close line because um, uh, in my design this pattern uh, will be this one will be rose color and uh, this one will be a little bit um purple so we don't want the color mixed to each other and here this line is too thin so i need to do it again and here when i check i check those gaps I'm going to trace back here because I think it might not hold in my color. So here is two things. And here, things like that. You see, just dot. You just basically just scan uh, your whole design or whole tracing outline, and make sure all the shapes you you made supposed to be closed are closed. The shapes. And uh, if the background is a different color. And then we'll, we need to double check extra careful with the, with the, the out this the, the 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 most outline i mean you see that those are inside in in the pattern in the flower line but those are out the the out edge the, those are root, the out edge are extremely important if you are uh, if your background and your flower turns different color okay so that's it that's for now uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have, <laughs> come back. If you have any question about good outline, just uh, leave me a question. I'll, I'll try to make more, um, like, more video to explain things as long as I know your question. Thank you. Bye.